Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're looking at Google Sites again and I'm going to show you how you can add your own logo or change the fav icon. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Having a fav icon makes it so much easier for everyone to recognize your website when it's open in their browser or when they bookmark it. Having a logo and fav icon helps users of your website to identify with that website. So the first thing I'd like you to do is open up your Google Sites. Now make sure you have a logo prepared. If not, don't worry, we can search for a random image as well and then replace the logo later. Now what is a fav icon and what is a logo? Now the logo will be displayed in the top left corner of your website and no matter which page you're on, that logo will be there. This is part of your menu structure. This can have a background color or it can have a transparent alpha channel. That means that it hovers on top of your menu. The fave icon, that's the little icon you will see in your tab. It is also the icon that will be associated with your website whenever you store it into your bookmarks. So having both makes for a brilliantly personalized website. Now let's dive into it. In the top left corner, we're going to hover over our site name. A new option will appear and this says add logo. So let's go ahead and add our own. Now I would highly recommend diving into Google Drawings and creating your own logo. Google Drawings is a vector based program. It's very easy to use and I will link in the cards to a playlist that is specifically about designing in Google Drawings and Google Apps. Now making your own logo means you own all the rights and you can use it in however way you want it. That being said, let's go ahead and add our own logo. Click on that add logo. If you've already uploaded your logo and it's in your Google Drive, then you can simply click on select instead of upload. Now, once your logo has been uploaded, all you need to do now is crop the logo and add it to your website. So go ahead and do that now and then you can test how your logo looks on all the different pages. Now on to our fav icon. Now in order for you to upload a fav icon, you're going to have to navigate to the three dots in the top right corner. Here you're going to find add fav icon. Do note, fav icons will not appear on your website until it is published. So don't worry if it's not showing yet. Let's go ahead and select upload and let's upload our fav icon. Now do make sure that this is a small icon, that it's readable even at a very small size. It could be an element from your logo or it could be your logo but then much more simplified. Once you've uploaded this image you're going to have to crop a square and then we can leave it at that. Go ahead and upload your fav icon. And once your website is published, you will now have a logo in the top left corner and your fave icon wherever your website is shared or stored. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in that comment section below how you are using Google Sites and which tips and tricks would you like to see next when we're talking about Google Sites. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.